Day 3 of the Quarantine Reviews Edmund tackles the self-titled album of Misery Loves Company. Continuing our quarantine reviews, we have a bit of an older album here. This dates back all the way to 1995. Been meaning to cover it for a while, and this seemed like the perfect opportunity. If you're unfamiliar with Misery Loves Co, they're a Swedish industrial metal duo who were going about from 1993 to 2000, split up for a while, and then reformed in 2016. They've released a few singles since then, and last year they released a full studio album, which at some point I'll be getting to as well. Their music typically covers themes of bleak sexual experiences and pained, torturous, failed romances. In fact, the first song of theirs I ever heard was Your Vision Was Never Mine To Share. And that really goes to paint this idea of a couple whose relationship completely failed because they were never on the same page. Gee, I wonder why I'm into their music. So to begin with, favourite track on the album. That was a bit difficult for me to decide because there are a lot of amazing songs on this album. But it, was, it ended up being between Kiss Your Boots and Need Another One. Now, whilst Kiss Your Boots was the one that has stuck with me the most. That's the one that feels the most catchy. Need Another One is objectively the better song. It feels like it better encapsulates the overall sound and style of Misery Loves Co. It has this nice variating tempo, it switches up between the more mellow attitudes of the verses and a harsh, aggressive sound running through the chorus. And it just really rounds out a nice feel for what the band is meant to be like. Least favourite track, again, it, it did switch. Initially, I thought it was going to be a song like Happy, which initially I thought this doesn't quite fit with the style of the album, but then I thought about it and it does in a sort of... certain number of songs will be much more aggressive and powerful and then the more mellow side will come in and that will alternate every couple of songs. Now, the track that made me go, yeah, this could have just been cut, was Scared. It's, it's a tedious two minute track of weird sound modulations, lacklustre instrumentation, uh, odd noise effects, and repetitive just three different lyrics of am I crazy, scared, and I think it says give me something, I'm not sure, I've not been able to determine. There's, there's not a proper lyric sheet in the jewel case, and there, the lyrics online don't actually give what's actually said, so if anybody actually knows what's being said, please let me know in the comments, because I can't make head nor tail of that. Overall, however, this far outweighs the bad with the good. It's got so many amazing tracks. There's a couple of hidden tracks, if you get the right version, of remixes that actually sound even better than the originals. So, if you can get sort of the special edition version with um, the, the remixes of Sonic Attack and Kiss Your Boots, then 
definitely pick that up. Because Scared is only a very short song and relatively innocuous, I would give this album a 5 out of 5. Initially I thought 4.5 out of 5, but now that I think about it, I can't take half a point away for two minutes when that's not that's not even half the length of most of the tracks. But yeah, if you can find it, definitely give it a spin. Um, I will probably be following this up down the line with whatever they come out with next and also the album they brought out last year. That's it for this episode. Stay safe, stay healthy, and hopefully after all of this, we'll be happy?